Welcome to Seed Prod. In this video, I'm gonna show you just how quick and easily you can add a Facebook like button to your web pages by using a WordPress website builder like Seed Prod. Seed Prod is used by over 1 million professionals who use Seed Prod to create custom WordPress themes and page layouts. You can use it to create just about any type of WordPress website that you may need. Let's go ahead and get Seed Prod Pro installed really quickly. You head over to seedprod.com or click the link in the description below. Once you're here, you can click on get seed prod now and select the account that makes the most sense for you. We do have a light version that you can check out in the plugin directory if you want to test drive it first. I'm going to be using the pro version in this video. Once you have an account, let's click on login. And on the left hand side, let's enter your email address, your password and click login. Once you're logged in, let's click on the second tab from the left called downloads and click on the orange button here to download seed prod pro. On the bottom left here, I need the license key as well. We can click this little icon here to copy that to clipboard and we can go ahead and close this tab. On the left hand side in your WordPress dashboard, I'm going to go to plugins and add new. At the top here, we can see upload plugin. Let's go ahead and click on this. Here we can see choose file. You can go ahead and click on this and select the zip file that you just downloaded. Or if you're using the same or similar browser, you can click down here and drag and drop this right here. Let's go ahead and click on install now. Let's click on activate plugin and it's going to ask for your license key. We're going to paste that right here and verify the key. You should see a green success message in the top right corner. I'm going to go ahead and close this tab at the bottom of my browser. Now that I have SeedProd installed, I am using the default theme that comes with SeedProd. Let's go ahead and install a new theme really quickly. SeedProd takes care of this for us by going to theme builder and at the top we can click on theme template kits. These are pre-made website template kits that you can import into SeedProd and create a fully functional website with a huge head start. For example, inside here for sort, I can go by popular. And if I look down, we have a personal portfolio. I'll click the check mark here to import this. Great, now that we have our theme imported, let's go ahead and enable the Seedprod theme here in the top right corner and click OK. So the reason we went through all these steps is the most common reason to use a Facebook like is to get likes on your blog post. So by doing this, we actually imported a single post template, and this is what will create our blog posts. So here, if I go to our homepage, we can see the menu at the top. Here, I have a parallax background. We have some projects, some information, and it's a nice personal portfolio website. Up top here though, we have the blog. And I currently only have one test post, but if we click on it, we can see this post here. And most commonly, we wanna add a like button for Facebook somewhere on the page here. So we'll come back and we'll edit this single post type by going to edit design. So this is an actual template for each blog post, not a specific one, but every single one that you put onto your website. So usually you have to go to the Facebook developer page and you have to fill out some custom information about what page you're putting the button on, the style of it, and then you have to copy and paste that code and paste it into your website, hoping that you don't break anything. With SeedProd, we can search for the block here on the left-hand side. I'll just do like, and under advanced, we can see that we have the Facebook like. The great thing about SeedProd is that you can just drag this into your page and put it anywhere you wish. I'll simply drag it here. Great, now we can click the block settings here, and on the left-hand side, we have settings for the Facebook like. We have the layout, so we have standard, we have button, button count, and box count. I'll actually go with the button count. Here you have the size for small or large. I'll go with large. And you can add the share button if you like. For the target URL, you can have the current page or custom if you'd like to add a custom link. Setting this to current page is fantastic because it avoids any type of custom coding that you might have to do otherwise. Seedbrod takes care of this for you. You have the URL format, which is plain permalink, or you can use the pretty permalink. For this example, I'll use the pretty permalink. We also have the alignment of the buttons. And at the top, we have advanced. We have the spacing. So you can add margin or padding around this. We have the attributes, where you can add your own custom CSS classes or IDs, as well as the device visibility. So if you wanna hide it on desktop, you can do that, or on mobile. And we also have the animation effect. This is an entrance animation that you can add to that if you like. If we come back, we can see under content, it's telling you to set your Facebook app ID in the page settings. Let's go ahead and save this, and we'll click here to go to the page settings. On this page at the bottom, we can see a place for the Facebook app ID. And you can go ahead and paste that ID right here. I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the Facebook developer page on how to get that Facebook app ID. Once you've pasted that in here, you simply save and we can close this out. Great, I'm gonna come back to my blog post that we had earlier and I'm gonna refresh the page. Here we can see our like button and our share button has been included into our page. Please keep in mind that this is fully customizable and you can change the location to be placed anywhere on your blog post or any page for that matter on your website. If you have any questions or concerns, please visit seedprod.com and check out our documentation page. If you require extra technical help, please feel free to contact our support team. Hey everybody, this is Chris from Seedprod. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel where I can show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites and landing pages by using our drag and drop page builder.